this is Shari from LittleBlueDeerDesign.com and today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to add custom fonts to your WordPress blog. And I have a tutorial on my site and I'm going to paste the link um, in the video description so you can check that out as well. But I just wanted to run through it really quickly here on video. And there are a couple of different plugins you can use. I'm just going to show you two that I like. Um, the first one is called use any font and a developer turned me on to this you can find it in the wordpress.org plugin repository um, you can also go ahead and go to your uh, dashboard go to plugins add new and you'll be able to uh, go or search use any font and you can download and activate it it's very simple once you have it activated all that you're going to do is you will be prompted i already have my api key um, you'll be prompted to generate an API key. Now you can use one font on your site for free. This is freemium software. And if you want to upgrade, then you can actually go ahead and upgrade. Um, you'll be prompted to upgrade and you can get, I think it's $10 for a personal site, $30 for a developer site. Um, if you want to use more than one font or use it on a more than one website, but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to show you um, How to upload the font so in the dashboard You're going to see Add fonts and all you're going to do is first name your font give it a name that you'll remember I'm just going to type the font and then choose your file and what you'll be able to do is go and you'll be able to you need to have the font installed on your computer so for example I'm going to choose uh, Garamond and I'm going to search this Mac Garamond I've got a bunch of different Garamonds um, this is a free one uh, and I'm going to go ahead and upload it so actually maybe I'll change the name to Garamond the key is by clicking on upload, you confirm that you have the rights to use this font. So be sure that you have the rights to use the font. You can get it from somewhere like Defont, uh, Font Squirrel, etc. has a lot of free fonts. Just make sure this is a free one. Just make sure that uh, you are licensed to use the font. Otherwise, you'll need to buy the license if it's a premium font. This is not about buying fonts. This is a tutorial about how to add new fonts. And then you're going to click on the upload button and you'll see a little message font conversion complete finalizing and then your font will be uploaded now the next thing that you want to do and this is where my tutorial comes in really handy is if you'll scroll down once again I walk you through it step by step now click the assign font button so this is over here you'll want to click assign font and this is where you can select any of the different uh, elements to assign your font to. So, for example, if you want your font that you just added to be your paragraph font, which would be all of this font here, just the regular standard, sti standard size font in WordPress, then you would want to choose the paragraph. Um, You'll also notice, and I'm going to go ahead and edit this page um, so I can show you how WordPress works. Uh, basic CSS and uh, code um, offers you a bunch of different font options, H1, H2, H3, etc. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my post here, and I'm going to add a new heading tag, and you'll see that you can choose H2, H3, H4, etc. This is all, as you'll see, paragraph font. So just keep in mind that these are your different options. So if you wanted to put the Garamond font and use it for all of your paragraph font, you would click select font, select the Garamond font, click on paragraphs and then I'm not going to do this because my fonts are already assigned and my sites already all set up but you just click assign font and then you'll see that when you go back to publish your page or your post then all of your fonts 
are actually going to be, um, this would be the paragraph font in the Garamond font. And once again, if you have the, uh, if you have purchased a professional license for this plugin, then you can use as many fonts as you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend maybe more than three or four. Those are the basics of use any font. Now, another way that you can add custom fonts to your blog is through one of my other favorite plugins, which is called Easy Google Fonts. It's by Titanium Themes, once again, available through the WordPress.org repository. And that is a little bit different, but I'm gonna also show you um, how to do that. So once again, you'll go to Plugins, Add New, you're gonna search Easy Google Fonts, activate and install it. And then this is just a little bit different. Um, you are gonna go to Appearance, Customize in your dashboard. And if you go to Appearance Customize, then you're gonna click, and I've noticed with different themes, this appears in different places, but you're gonna look for the typography um, or type section. And you're gonna click to expand that, and then you're gonna expand as prompted typography. Now, what Easy Google Fonts does is it actually goes ahead and loads a whole bunch, and I mean hundreds, maybe even thousands of Google fonts onto your website. So here, I decide that I wanna edit the font for the paragraph, and guess what? Instead of just the basic fonts that came installed on my uh, WordPress theme, I can click on Font Family. You've got your standard web fonts, which every website has, but look, if you scroll down further, you will see all of these Google fonts. And I mean, there are literally hundreds of them. Okay, so you can kind of play around with it. And if you're using the, uh, the customizer, you can preview your, your font changes here. Once again, my, my site's already all set up. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. I'm not gonna actually do it on my own site. Um, you can also choose the font weight and style and you can choose text decoration. And then once again, um, as I described earlier, you've got the different heading sizes. And generally, the H1 or heading one is the largest font size, um, H5 is the smallest, and these are just different headers that you kind of use. Basically, a website's comprised of the H1 through H5 tags and then your basic paragraph or body font. You don't wanna overdo it. So once again, you know, cool thing, if you decide that you want your H2 fonts to be maybe a, uh, a cursive script, um, you can scroll down and you'll have all of the Google web fonts at your disposal. And then once you've made any of your, uh, you selected your fonts, all you wanna do is go ahead and click the publish tab and your fonts would be updated. So if I had gone back up here to um, the paragraph font, and this is just a basic paragraph here of text on my site, and I had chosen one of the Google web fonts, then it would be automatically applied to my site. So just kind of a nifty and cool little thing. Um, once again, you can come back and visit my tutorial here, how to add custom fonts to your WordPress blog, and I'll walk you through this as well, step by step. But I just wanted to make a short video to share a couple of different ways to add custom fonts to your um, to your WordPress blog or site. So I have a whole bunch of tutorials um, also on my site, all WordPress tutorials for bloggers and um, site designers over here at littlebluedeardesign.com uh, slash WordPress tutorials. And I'll paste that link in the description as well. If you have any questions or comments, then uh, feel free to drop me a line here on the video. Thanks so much for watching.